What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I have a Chris Aarons US lock. Um, can't remember who sent this to me, everything's kind of in disarray right now, and uh, I had a couple locks out, a bunch of locks out, and I just kind of threw them into the to pick bin and didn't label them, so not sure who sent it to me, but uh, it didn't come with a key, and looks like a wiser, maybe, maybe a maybe a quick set, but let's give this thing a shot. Let's see what Chris Aaron's put in here. All right. I have to work from this side piece of wording, maybe. A bunch out of three. I don't know, like a little bit out of five, maybe. Feels very stiff in here. Three. Yeah, it feels like the lock is, uh, I wish there was a key. It feels like the clip is on way too tight. Because it's not a lot of movement, but the movements there is very, very strong. So either that clip's on too tight, or there's a way too powerful of a spring in there. Pushing down on the core. I'm just going to take this clip off. Hopefully. I'll release some of the... Oh, yeah. That clip was just way too tight on there. All right. The uh, thing you can do is sand down the back of that uh, core just a bit. Or the actual uh, body of the lock. Not the plug, but the, uh, the body of the mortise. Just take a few thou off so there's less uh, drag on the clip. Let's give this a shot. Three. Set on one there. Let's try that again. Click out of five, click out of four, three, bit of a full set. One. A really good false set out of him. One. That Six again. So once you get the clip working on this thing, uh, six again and we're open. Still feels very draggy in there. Like, uh, you know, probably be pretty catchy with the uh, with the key, but we'll let's see what's in here. Yeah, pretty draggy. Let's uh, plug follower here and a shim. Definitely felt like it opened on a T-pin. Uh, there's spools in it as well. So a little bit of everything in this lock. Let's see what's in here. So all six pins are in. Let me grab this. Um, you guys might have seen these before. 
Um, I had made them quite a while ago. I never really featured them on the channel. Uh, they are... Actually, I should probably open this thing first. Let's leave this pinned up for now. So if you've ever seen my um, regular pinning trays, it's got all the regular uh, groove types and then your parts area. So these make it easy to pick up with your fingertips or uh, tweezers. But um, this is just essentially like a pencil box, but uh, a pinning tray with a little, little parts areas underneath for portability pretty much. So this thing will fit in your pocket. It's about the size of a phone, maybe, you know, two or three times as thick. Um, and the first version um, didn't have any kind of uh, retention system or anything like that. And uh, Bobby Keys gave me uh, a, a great idea to put uh, some kind of detent to hold the lid closed. And it's hard to do because uh, the plastic wears out. It's just an inherent property of plastic. Uh, rubbing plastic on plastic long enough and it will wear out. But um, so what I come up with is three dimples in the bottom of the, or sorry, six uh, dimples in the bottom of the tray and then six dimples on the top of the case. And what happens is uh, you do put them in there and it gets really tight when it comes over. It kind of clicks over the dimples, but then it falls into a center groove. And, you know, it's not really easy to open, so it's not going to come open in your pocket very easy. you got to actually push pretty hard. And as it gets older, it might, it'll get looser, but uh, having six detents, it'll probably, you know, last a bit longer anyway. Uh, anyway, um, there are ways to improve it. Um, you just drop a drip of crazy glue on those detents, and they'll, you know, be new detents again. Or you can put a drip in the track. And it'll actually make it bind when you close it. But anyway, um, that is the evolution of that. And you guys can actually win this set uh, after this video, or even now. Just leave a comment down below. And um, we will give it away in a week. It's a little over two years since I started my channel. So you know, I like to celebrate my giveaways are all on my milestones and not on, uh, you know, like subscriber count or anything like that. Uh, they're all on video count and, you know, now my two year anniversary and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I'm doing pretty good, I guess. Uh, two years in, I'm pretty good at lock picking, I guess. And, um, you know, uh, almost 800 subscribe subscribers now, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, Although it was never about subscribers for me, which is why you've never heard me ask for a subscriber. That's why it's not a prerequisite for it, <laughs> for uh, winning any of my contests. So, um, it is a cool number, though. You know, 800 people apparently cared enough about what I do to subscribe, to click a button. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I'll go over what's in here at the end. But first, let's uh, get this Chris Aaron's lock. And uh, yeah, two years. Uh, used to be like a video a day for a while there. Me and Pick Me 1977 and Bobby Keys were, were maintaining a video a day. And it just burns you out after about a year of that. Um, it's hard to do. And now I'm down to like you know one or two a week. And... Uh, it's that's an easy, comfortable pace for me, uh, especially because I'm so busy. But I would like to do more. It's just, you know, uh, it's a hobby and uh, life comes first. <laughs> that's a weird pin in the back there. But I do like to uh, give to the community whenever I can. I like to be a part of it. Everybody's pretty awesome. And uh, still a lot of fun. Just, you know, life and work getting in the way. So that's what Chris Aaron's put in this awesome lock. Let's give it a good look here. All right. So we have uh, key pins first, standard in one. Nice serrated spool in two. Another serrated kind of mushroom in three. Serrated in four. Serrated in five. 
and a standard in six. Up at the top, we got a nice T-pin in one, which is what it opened on. We have a nice serrated with kind of a spool in the middle on two, serrated on three, serrated on four, kind of a reduced diameter in the center there. Uh, a spool, double spool serrated on five, and then six is a very weird pin with, uh, looks like he soldered it on the bottom here to try to keep it captivated or something, or maybe add more meat to it or something. But it's essentially, it's a pin and pin T-pin. It looks like a spooled uh, outer. So very cool. All the springs are the same. We have uh, threading in two, three, four, uh, very deep counter milling in five. Uh, one and six are standard. Anyway, guys, uh, what comes in this kit, and uh, anybody can enter to win, um, it'd be cool if uh, somebody who's newer who had a channel won it because, you know, we like to promote that kind of thing, but anybody can enter. Um, you'll get one of those multi-bit screwdrivers. They come with uh, all the standard bits, and they're very convenient for things like mortises and stuff like that. Um, a flashlight, just because there's room. <laughs> and a uh, plug follower. A bunch of shims down on the bottoms. I don't know, half a dozen shims or something like that. A pair of tweezers for your pinning kit, and then some tools. Uh, there are two picks and a uh, tension bar. So uh, they're all, you know, my standard uh, 15 thousandths and high polished. Two different profiles. One's a little deeper than the other one's a medium. The other one's a little bit steeper for getting uh, higher cut pins and stuff like that. And then your uh, 0.8 mil uh, turning tool and nice little kit here there's pretty much everything you need to uh, pick locks and gut them and uh, it all fits in a nice little case if you put it in right <laughs> the flashlight's just kind of like a last minute thing uh, you know do we ever really use flashlights picking locks nah not really but you know, I have a bunch of them from the dollar store, and they fit in there nice. So, anyway, uh, you know what to do. Just leave a comment down below, and uh, it can be anything. It doesn't matter. Uh, we could have argued in the past, or you could uh, think that I'm a moron. Uh, you don't have to be a subscriber. It doesn't really matter. This can go to anybody. But like I said, it would be cool if it went to somebody who is uh, new-ish and uh, has a channel. Anyway, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, sticking with me for two years. Some of you have been here the whole time. Um, a lot of you haven't, but that's cool. Um, have a good one, and uh, good luck to everyone. Uh, somebody's going to take that home <laughs> later.